What is up everybody, it is Wick here and I'm going to go over some stuff that I've sold on eBay and I uh, hope you're excited because I'm excited to show you this stuff. These are things I picked up at yard sales, thrift stores, you know the deal if you've watched these videos before. I hope you learned something and I hope you're at least a bit entertained um, with this video, but let's get into it. Here are some Rhino Pro 3000 label makers. A lot of the Dymo label makers are not worth much. You see them a lot at thrift stores, but there are some that are industrial and nice like these. Now I picked these up a couple years ago. Uh, I was doing a road trip to Alabama, doing some sourcing and I stopped, I believe it was Indiana somewhere in the country and I found these in a Goodwill. I paid $10 for them. I'm saying them because I actually sold two of them. This is one I sold for $49.99 and then another one without the, the manual and the, the uh, extra ink there. I sold that one uh, for $44.99, I believe. No, $39.99 is what I sold the other one for. Uh, but in the end, I paid $10 a piece for these. I made $42.08 after shipping. So it was definitely an awesome pickup. And I've sold various label makers in the past. It's just something I always check into. Here is something I almost didn't pick up. Uh, these Scum Buster Tub and Tile. This one's not the greatest model. Uh, but it does sell and i what i pay for this let me look here three dollars is what i paid for this at a goodwill you can see the box there it's kind of got water damage it was kind of gross that was one reason i didn't want to pick it up uh, but i figured i would just go ahead and buy it and try to sell it and it did sell fairly quick for 42 dollars 97 is what i got for it and i made 22 dollars 13 in the end after cost fees and shipping if you do buy one of these always make sure it has the little battery pack there in the charger that's where the money is i could have sold just the battery pack and charger probably for about that much and i did consider parting this out uh, but it just didn't seem like the other parts were really selling so i figured i'd just sell the whole thing and just move it and that's what i done and i made some money here we have some spongebob beanie babies had the tags had the tag protectors on them these were at goodwill they were 99 cents a piece and i bought a lot of them um, i believe right here we have those about 17 of them total and uh, i sold a bunch of them by themselves that were selling for more like the pink one the breast cancer awareness one i think i sold for 20 or 25 some halloween ones i sold for a bit more but when i was going through totes looking for new stuff to list of my inventory i said oh, i don't want to list each one of these individually so i just decided to do a lot i did this lot because it's a christmas and i did this one just because this is what was left over and somebody bought both of them one person so it made shipping a lot easier was able to fit them all in a 12 by 12 by 8 uh, priority mailbox so that was nice so i had 17 dollars in these and i got 84 dollars and 98 cents so after shipping 47 dollars and 72 cents is what i made so you can't beat that um usually don't sell a lot of plush it's just hard to find stuff that's really worth it but you know they just had all these there somebody just donated their collection it was all spongebob beanie babies also usually not worth picking up it's just the fact that these were spongebob they were a bit more special and people like spongebob here's a pair of sketcher shoes i picked up because well look at them they're they're star wars they're pretty cool these are actually my size i debated about keeping them i'm like am i ever gonna wear these just sell them i have so many shoes that i've kept that i could have sold um <laughs> I'm never going to run out of shoes being a thrifter and going to garage sales and stuff like that. I just always come across shoes for myself. These I paid $7 for at a thrift store, St. Francis, and I sold them for $43.14. I made $21.27. Skechers usually aren't great to pick up to resell, but uh, these were new, actually unworn, just didn't have the tags or box, still had the like, sticker um, on the bottom. But I bought these obviously because of the content and cool factor and they are pretty rare. There wasn't a lot of them on eBay. I actually had them priced up a bit higher. I think it was like four or five months went by and they just didn't sell. So um, I just marked them down and they sold. Here is something I don't really do not pick up. I saw this at a Goodwill and I'm like, that looks pretty nice. Let's just look it up. Uh, it was $12.99. I was like, yeah, maybe th maybe this is good. Uh, it's a pressure cooker. It was new. You can see the label still on there. It had like a bunch of utensils with it there. And uh, I ended up selling it for $100.71 is what I got after buyer paid shipping. And uh, $57.42 is what I got. 
profit wise and I sold this anything large like this this was really heavy so I, I sold it FedEx shipping um, usually with my larger items it just makes it cheaper for the the buyer it's a lot better I, I, I think it was like $18 I paid to ship this or something uh, priority mail it probably would have been like close to $50 so that's why i do fedex on larger items like this also you know working at home working by yourself sometimes you know you don't wear the the proper clothing right maybe you're listing some stuff in the nude or you're doing some work in the nude always make sure when you're taking pictures of stuff that's reflective if you don't have clothes on make sure it's not showing your nude self in the reflection that would be bad that's just a pro tip right there so here is an item i bought this is some sort of sharp little organizer type thing it's old this is at goodwill i paid ten dollars for it I was going to sell it for about ninety dollars if it worked well it didn't work and of course i didn't mess with this thing like until a year or two even after i bought it because it just got thrown in a death pile so what I did do though is I parted it out. I put this on for parts. It looked like it was powering on, but it wasn't showing a screen. And yes, I tried the backlight. If you have any like TI-84 plus calculators and the screen's not showing, always make sure you're messing with the backlight and it's because it can just show a blank screen. But as soon as you turn that up, you'll see stuff. It was not the case with this one. I explained it all and I ended up selling this for $15. I sold this manual right here for $20 and I even sold the stylus for $15 <laughs> so and it sold pretty quick I couldn't believe people really you know I thought this was just gonna be long tail items after it didn't work but in the end you know I didn't make as much as I wanted but I still made $33.56 off of all this stuff so that's pretty awesome I say this a lot with reselling, you gotta have an open mind. You got to understand that you can part stuff out even if it doesn't work. You can lot stuff together. There's different ways to sell things. And uh, this is just an example right here. A lot of people have been like, eh, it doesn't work. Just throw it, you know, into a donation pile or throw it away or whatever. But you just gotta always be looking for a way to make that dollar. Here is something that, uh, kind of unfortunate. I wasn't even sure what this was when I picked it up. Uh, I paid $10 for it at a Goodwill. It's um, kind of like a mixer type thing, audio interface for a PC, USB there. You plug a condenser mic into it or an instrument. And, you know, I understood basically what it was, but uh, I didn't know exactly how to use it because I don't play instruments or anything like that. But I did look up the model. I'm like, hey, this sells great. And uh, I did sell it. I sold it quick. So I got $99.01 for it. And I made $68.42. But the unfortunate thing was about a week after I sold it, I realized, hey, I need one of these because I was upgrading a mic to a condenser mic. And after doing research, I'm like, oh, that's what I needed. And I found one at Goodwill and now it's gone. Um, but yeah, I just bought another another one not this model or anything just a different type of mixer usb audio interface still haven't even really messed with the the settings or anything like that so it's not doing me much good but of course you know it's obvious if you don't know what something is or you don't even understand how it works who cares um you can still make money on it i plugged this into a computer and it read the drivers and that's i just put that in the listing i just said that's how it was tested and it still sold and i made money and then finally we got this magellan explorers 500 personal gps i was just driving one day i think it was a saturday and i passed a garage sale i'm like oh wow i didn't know this garage sale was happening stopped went over and found this paid eight dollars for it didn't look it up or anything knew i could make money on it unfortunately not the highest profit item i uh, paid eight sold it for 29.99 made $13.82 after shipping uh, but still why wouldn't you pick this up um, this is another thing you know I did have to test it I did have to plug it in make sure everything was working but uh, yeah it came on it looked like it was reading everything properly again just disclose it in the the description and if somebody wants to buy it and uh, they will so between those 10 items I made $306.42, so some pretty good profit on that stuff. Considering I've done hundreds and hundreds, you know, 900 or so sales recently, um, it's, it's actually kind of hard to pick through 
a lot of this stuff to find different items I haven't showed in other videos because a lot of it's just kind of the basically the same stuff that I always sell. You know, maybe I'm getting a ratchet set um, on clearance and I'm getting like 20 or 30 of them and I'm just getting sales from those. So, you know, I can't sell it, show you 30 of the same <laughs> ratchet or anything like that or another ball glove or another filter. So I like to go through and try to find more unique things and stuff I can talk about. So I hope this video helped you out some. I hope you got some ideas and I hope it at least entertained you. If it did, make sure you hit that like button for me and be subscribed, ring that bell. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at flipping underscore junk. And I do really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and support me. And this has been Wick. Till next time.